Hello, everyone. My name is Mo Zofikar, and welcome to another episode of Income Investors. With me today is John Whitefoot with another exciting income pick. If you want to read more about what John writes on a regular basis, you can head to IncomeInvestors.com, or you can find the link to the website in the description below. Strong economic activity, lower inflation, and falling interest rates are the perfect combination for business development companies, or BDCs for short, like Bearings BDC Inc. They're traded on New York Stock Exchange under symbol BBDC. Here at Income Investors, we refer to BDCs as alternative banks. And why is that? It's because alternative banks lend to businesses that are typically too small for big banks, Similar to bigger banks though, the majority of the debt from alternative banks is in forms of floating rate investments. This provides BDCs with real-time interest rate changes, which is generally better than fixed rate loans. And because of tight bank lending rules, demand for BDCs and private credit is soaring. With market for private credit jumping from 1 trillion in 2020, to 1.5 trillion at the start of 2024. By 2028, that figure is expected to reach 2.8 trillion. And bearing BDC is a top destination for a growing number of borrowers. John? Yeah, thanks, Mo. Bearing's BDC is an externally managed, uh, as you'll probably guess, BDC. Primarily makes debt investments in middle market companies with EBITDA of $10 million to $75 million. While some investors may think bigger is better, when it comes to BDCs, it isn't always. Uh, core middle market deals have uh, lower leverage, tighter documentation, and better covenants than large corporate deals do. Uh, the default rate on investments under 100 million is just 1.13%. Uh, the default rate on deals of 250 million to 499 million is 5.14%, and jumps to 5.47% on deals of $500 million or greater. Now, the company's investment objective is to generate, of course, income by investing directly in private held middle market companies that are across a wide range of industries, including, you know, manufacturing and distribution, technology, logistics, and consumer products. And of course, their, their debt helps companies fund acquisitions, uh, growth, or refinancing. Now, of Bearing's 2.41 billion portfolio, 72% uh, is made up of senior secured debt with 88% secured with floating rates. And as of September 30th, 2024, the weighted average portfolio yield was, I think it was like 11%. And how did this alternative bank do in the third quarter? Around September 30th, the company reported total investment income of roughly $71 million, up slightly from $70.8 million in the same prior year period. It also reported uh, net investment income of $30.2 million or 29 cents per share. And that was down from $33.3 million or 31 cents per share in the third quarter of last year. Net assets from operations actually increased 20% to $22 million or 21 cents per share, or net asset value per share was $11.32 compared to $11.36 in the second quarter and $11.25 in the third quarter of last year. That would end the quarter with cash and foreign currencies of $66 million and $347.8 million of borrowing outstanding under its senior secured credit agreement. If you like what you see so far, check out IncomeInvestors.com. While you're there, you could also sign up for our free special report titled Three Income Stocks to Own Today. One of those stocks currently has a dividend yield of 12.7%. You can find the link to IncomeInvestors.com in the description below. And now back to the video. And John, I see that it maintained its quarterly dividend at 26 cents per share. Well, yeah, some companies are good at opting to provide shareholders with dividends. Then there are BDCs, which are legally required and therefore designed to be dividend machines. Because of their unique tax structure, BDCs can elect to be taxed as regulated investment companies. This exempts them from corporate income tax, but only if they distribute at least 90% of their profits, typically dividends to shareholders. Now, thanks to strong investment income, banks are able to provide investors with a reliable, growing, high-yield distribution. That declared a fourth-quarter dividend of $0.26 cents per share or $1.04 per share on an annual basis for a current yield of 10.45%. Bearing has actually raised its annual dividend for the last five consecutive years. Moreover, where some companies only increase their payouts on an annual basis, uh, when times are good, uh, Bearings can do it multiple times. And uh, for example, in 2021, it increased its distribution every quarter. And in 22 and in 2023, it raised its distribution twice. And what about its share price? A reliable ultra high yield dividend is great, 
but it's even better when it's attached to a stock that's doing well. And Bearings has outpacing the red-hot S&P 500 this year. On November 19th, Bearings stock hit a new record high of $10.11, putting up 26% in 2024 and 24.5% on an annual basis. John, thank you so much for your insights. Bearing BDC is a BDC with a diversified funding mix secured mainly with floating rates and on average portfolio yield of 11%. In the third quarter of this year, it maintained its momentum with net investment income well above the dividend, strong credit metrics, and net asset value that is above where it was at the end of 2023. And this, management said, leaves Bearing well positioned for what it expects to be more active lending environment, particularly given its strong sponsor relationships and ample liquidity. That's it for today. And make sure to go to IncomeInvestors.com now to get our free special report on three income stocks to own today. One of those stocks currently has a dividend yield of 12.7%. You can find the link to IncomeInvestors.com in the description below. We'll be back with more income picks soon, so stay tuned. And in the meantime, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Goodbye for now.